as well back again with another card fight Vanguard deck profile. So hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't to the Patreon. Let's get this one started. Today, it's the first Overdress deck. I'm actually going to be doing an actual deck profile on. Technically, I did five at once with the trial decks in their budget forms. But after set two finally got released in all of its entirety, this is where I do all of the, like, the decks after set two gets released, basically. So let's go ahead and get this started. First up, it will be Zorga on the list of all the Overdress start of the Overdress decks. Why Zorga? I have no idea. I just picked Zorga because it's the one I feel the most comfortable with explaining immediately. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, the starter is Drib Dream Nibbling. This could just be anything, but I'm sticking with the standard ride line. 6k base, 5k shield, grade 0 with boost. Auto and road upon. If you went second, you get to draw a card. Nothing special, it's just a draw. But, and it looks very fucking creepy, I just gotta say. Of trigger wise, we run one over trigger, as obvious, but our over trigger is Source Dragon Deity of Blessings, Bless Favor, 5k power, 50k shield, standard over trigger, grade zero with boost. You may only have one over trigger in your deck. When revealed as a trigger, remove that card, draw a card, choose one of your units, and it gets plus one million tons of turn. If you revealed it during your drive check, you can activate its additional effect, which is draw a card, choose one of your units, and it gets plus one crit. All of your front row gets plus 10k power, and if your damage zone has more cards or equal to, to your opponent's damage zone, choose a card from your damage zone and heal it. So basically, like an everything bagel, or like an everything trigger where you just get all the effects. If this was Magnolia, I could argue that you might want to run Spiritual King of Determination over this card. But really, you shouldn't, because this thing is perfect. Like, you get two draws out of it. You, like, you guarantee you get a draw just by seeing it, regardless if it's damage checked or drag check. But if you drive check it, you get an extra draw out of it. Something gets a crit. All of your front row get plus 10. You get to possibly heal, and something's getting a million out of this. So... Pretty big card, really useful thing. The one of over trigger. I feel like if over triggers were allowed to be at four, they would have to nerf this extremely because seeing this kind of breaks the game. Uh, trigger wise, we have three draw triggers and lost child of attachment. Four frenzied Harris front trigger, which if it's in guard circle, if your opponent's vanguard to grade three or greater, plus five K shield, so 20 K shield, which is nice. Four critical trigger and abyss temptation and four LG pixie for as a heal. Now, my trigger lineup is probably different than others. I don't think you need draw triggers if you're trying to go like hyper Zorga aggressive mill build, but I'm one, I'm not doing that. I refuse because that will get me killed very quickly, and I refuse to give my friend access to that because the last time I gave him to a deck that can mill, he decided to do something funny, and instead of, you know, playing the game right and staying at like 30 deck cards, he decided to drop himself all the way down to zero in one go, which is why I ever regret building Grand Blue and why I refuse to let that happen again. But, um, I just like using the random, I like using the triggers that came with the stuff, so I refuse to change those triggers regardless. So, Lost Child of Attachment, Frenzied Harris is in a different story because it actually does fit the thing. Abyss Temptation and LG Pexy are the final triggers. So, four heal, four crit, four front, three draw, one over. On to the actual, I guess, deck itself. <clears throat> First up, we've got three beauty pulling the sleeve. Auto, when placed on rear, you may put all cards from your bind zone into the drop. If you do, it gets plus 5k power to end of turn for each card put. As a grade one, boost 5k shield with 7k base. So that's really good. It is an on place, but that kind of recycles all of your bind and gives you power off it and, you know, benefits you by one, getting your orders back so that you can alchematic them again. But two, you know, just stacking your power even more and it's better to play as a late game card i don't like putting it at four because you mostly want to see it during the late game and there is no way in hell you won't see this either you'll draw into it or you will mill it and it can be placed from anywhere so there's no way in hell all three are going to end up in damage i mean it might possibly happen but still so i like to run it at three it's a good card it can help with power stacking especially when you're going for that final turn play where you get really big numbers and you just go push for game so beauty of the pulling sleeve Three copies, pretty good card. Next up, we got Rogue Headhunter. 8k base, 5k shield, grade one with boost. Continuous rear, if you played in order during this turn, it gets plus 5k power. Okay, so 13k swinger or 13k booster. And auto when placed from hand on rear, the next time you would alka magic in order and play it this turn, reduce that cost by a counter blast one. Reduce from the total cost. Does not counter charge even if it becomes negative. So, you know, you don't get to counter charge, but you could technically make the cost null and void if it was like, 
Say you're alchemagicking with grief, despair, and rejection, and spiritual body condensation. One costs a soul blast, one costs a counter blast. You play this guy, you don't pay the counter blast, but you pay the soul blast. So, pretty helpful there. He's a really useful card, and he can be played from anywhere to activate that ability. So, four copies because he's really useful. Also, he just looks really cool. He's a really good triple rare, honestly. Next up, we have four copies of our PG Planar Prevent Dragon, 6k base, uh, grade one with boost. Continuous Sentinel, you may only have up to four Sentinels in your deck. Auto, when this unit is placed on Guard Circle, choose up one of your units, and it cannot be hit on a battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from hand and discard it. So pretty much say this and one other card's in your hand, and you play this down. You don't have to discard for the PG cost, which is just really nice to have. And you can just nullify attacks and then still keep that last hand card. That maybe for a big guard or like in premium where you use this and then you have that last card in your hand. It's maybe a heal and you need to do a G guard into like, say for example, Denial Griffin because all of them have a PG like this. Just G guard, Denial Griffin, you're safe. Which is really nice to have. So four for a PG. It looks really cool though. Next up we have Ranker Chain, AK base, 5k shield, grade one with boost. Act Van, once per turn, Soul Blast 1, draw 2, choose up to one order card from your hand and discard it, and if you did not discard an order, you choose two cards from your hand and discard them instead. So either you discard an order or you discard two cards, basically. And you get to draw two out of it, which is really nice, and if you go second, because you're drawing from your starter, you're technically drawing three cards. And then Continuous Rear, if you played an order during this turn, it gets plus 2k power. So 10k booster, really good to have. It's a really good card to use, and I just find his ability really fun using, because I like just doing the draw 2, that's very nice getting to do so really useful card there's one copy in the main deck and then there's one copy in the ride deck because he is the grade one of the ride line because he's the only one that has a vanguard ability next up there is inheritance made in hendrina as for grade twos 10k base 5k shield grade two with intercept auto when placed on rear you may discard the top three cards of your deck so a free mill three okay that's cool and act rear retire this unit until end of turn the next time you would alka magic in order and play it you may choose not to pay all that cost soul blast so the difference between this and a Rogue Headhunter is Rogue Headhunter only makes you pay one less of a Counter Blast. This works for Soul Blast and makes you pay none of it, which is really nice. And because of how Zorgo works, you can just call this back from drop, keep milling so you can get more orders and drop, use this thing skill to kill itself so your opponent can't kill it. You can pay Soul Blast for free, use Alka Magic, use all your Soul Blast cards you want because you don't have to pay the cause, then just repeat, watch, rinse, and repeat next turn, which is really fun using. My only thing about Hendrina is I hate her art because I feel like this would be better as a grand blue card. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't hate the card itself and I don't hate the art, but I hate the ability given to the art. If this was like more of a grand bluish card or even an aqua force card, I'll take it. Like that would make more sense to me than a neo nectar looking card. That's all I'm saying. Like, I like this art, but I wish it wasn't tailored to this ability, basically. Either way, it's a really good card to have four copies. Next up, we have Black Tears Husk Dragon. 10k base, 5k shield, grade 2 with intercept. Auto when placed on van, choose up to one normal order from your drop and put it to your hand. So basically, you go second, preferably. Ride, ranker, chain from your ride deck. Draw a card, skill of ranker, soul blast your starter, draw two, discard an order. Wait till next turn, ride Black Husk, get that order that you discarded back. So pretty good, so you're not technically losing anything. And you don't have to if you don't want to. Like if you want to keep that in your drop zone to Alka Magic with later, then you can. But A, you can just get it back right now. And then Continuous Rear, if you played an order during this turn, it gets plus 5k power. So 15k, it's okay. Like definitely Rogue Headhunter is better because even though it has the same effect and a lower power than this unit, it does, you know, make your counter blast less. So I like that over this one, but this is still good. Two copies, one in the ride deck because it is your main grade two. For riding and then one in the main deck you know just in case you need to see it and finally we have well in terms of normal units not counting orders we're not done yet but in terms of normal units mysterious rain spiritualist zorga our only in grade 3 13k base grade 3 twin drive persona ride continuous van when you would play in normal order you may bind a normal order with a different card name from your drop in alka magic combine the cost and add the effect to the back so pretty much what you do is, say for example, we use my earlier example where we alka magic grief, despair, rejection with spiritual body condensation. You pay both their cost, the counter blast and the soul blast. If you reduce any of it, then you don't pay the cost basically. And you activate them in the order that you played them in. Whichever one you played first, like 
whichever one wasn't played from drop activates first. So if it was grief, despair, rejection, you activate that one first. And if it was spiritual body condensation, you activate that one first. And then you bind the other order, basically. And then act Vanguard once per turn. Counter boss one, choose a card from your drop zone called to rear. So you know you can recycle your Hendrinas to mill more and then recycle your Soul Blast cost or use Rogue Headhunter to make sure that you don't pay counter boss or just call down units that gain power like uh, Ranker Chain or Black Husk Dragon or use Beauty Pulling Sleeve to send your orders back to drop zones so that you can use their effects again next turn. Either way, Zorga does a lot and it's just really helpful to have and honestly we just got a booster and booster set too we just got like a budget version of zorga which i would have done over this because i actually like that card's art more than i like zorga's art but the reason why i did that is because i have not tested that card yet so i'm not so sure how i want to play that but either way this is still a really good card to have and four copies because it allows you basically to play two orders at once and technically it still counts as one order but your opponent doesn't know what you're going to pick especially if you have a bunch of orders and drop so really nice to have four copies and then order wise, two copies of Spiritual Body Condensation. Play this by Soul Blasting One. Choose a card with grade less than or equal to to your Vanguard from your drop. Call it to rear, and it gets plus 5k power till end of turn. So you know anything you call it gets plus five. If you call Rogue Head Hunter, it gets plus another five because of his own skill. So 18. If you pick uh, what's it called? If you pick a Black Cus Dragon, it goes to 20 because of its own skill. Basically. Call something, give it plus five. You can even call the thing you soul blast, and most of this deck is probably gonna get the plus five off it anyways. So really helpful. Two copies. Two copies of Nectar of Sensations. Grade two order. Choose one of your rear guards for until end of turn and gets plus five K for every five cards you drop. And if your drop is fifteen or more cards, gets put nah, gets a crit. So this is kind of like the thing I was talking about earlier where you go for a big push calm. Say your opponent's at 5 damage, you got Zorga on board, you didn't press on a ride, you got Zorga, you got a beauty pulling sleeve in your drop, and you got... I forgot what else I had in that front row, but something else in your drop zone. You use Zorga, call something down. Uh, oh yeah, Hendrina. You call Hendrina, you don't bother paying the cost because you don't have Soul Boss. This is a very specific scenario for the record. You play this thing, you Alka Magic with this card, Soul Blast, after, of course. You give... Um, what's it called? You give the Beauty Pulling Sleeve a bunch of power. No, not the Beauty Pulling Sleeve. Hydrina a bunch of power because you already used Beauty Pulling Sleeve to send stuff to drop. Then you use this card to call something else down, give it plus five, and then you just get a bunch of power, a bunch of critical on your two side columns, which obviously they're going to have to guard. And then regardless, people are going to guard the Vanguard. Who wants to take a Vanguard attack that could possibly lead to an everything bagel and or just a bunch of critical triggers? So you know, they kind of don't have much of a choice, and that's why I really like Nectar of Sensation. So, two copies, because one, it's for free, actually, and two, it can add really good numbers and make two guards, and make two columns really hard to block, and then they kind of have to take the Vanguard, more or less. Next up, two copies of Grief, Despair, and Rejection. Grade three order, play this by Counterblasting one. If your Vanguard is Mysterious Rain Spiritualist Zorga, choose three of your units, and they get plus 10k power until end of turn. So, that's basically a Persona Ride, to an extent, because it can target any three units. But that's good. Downside is you can only play it with Zorga, so the new Aqua Magic card you cannot use with this. But that is still good. It's only a Counter Blast, so with Rogue Headhunter, this is free. And I just like using that. I run all of my orders at two, because I like to see them all a decent amount, and I like to not overrun them with stuff, and I also like to have options and scenarios. So two copies of this thing. Two copies of Cursed Soul, Squirming in Agony, as I just look at the art and I see... What I'm going to assume is Black Hux Dragon, followed by Zorga playing his staff as a Qatar. Uh, grade 3 order, play this by Soul Blasting 2. Look at top 4, choose up to 1 unit card from among them, call it to rear and discard the rest. If during Alka Magic, you can call 2 instead of 1, and all of the orders called card units get plus 5k power to end of turn. So, pretty much, you can just use this Spiritual Body Condensation and Hendrina to make the cost free, Call something from drop, give it plus five, and then use this thing, top four, call two more, they get plus five. The only thing I have against this, and this might just be straight up luck, but every time I use this, I see either four triggers, two triggers in an order, and then an actual normal unit, or I see three orders and a grade one. I don't know why, it's always one of those three, and I've always, I calculated all the times, and I've made sure I know this before I did this, but all of them are always one of those three. And it's very annoying, but at the same time, it's very funny watching that just occur. But either way, this is a really helpful order because it can just help spam out the field with two units, followed by if you actually do use spiritual body condensation with this, that's three units. So 
really helpful order to have, I guess. Two copies. And then our last order, if I'm correct, two copies of Regurgitation from the Underworld. Grade 3 order. Cool art, I guess. I like the... I don't like the death faces all screaming, but I like the demon circle in the middle that they're all coming out of, or that they're all going to. Either way, I like that. Anyways, play this by counterblasting one and soul blasting one. Choose one of any player's rear guard, retire it. Choose up to one card with the same grade as that card from your drop, call it to rear, and if it's during alka magic, you may choose two instead of one. Okay, so pretty much any player's rear guard gets to die, and whatever grade that is, let's just say it's a grade three, you get to call a grade three to the board. And if it was an alka magic, you get to call two instead of one. So normally in this deck, you kind of want to do grade twos or grade one so you can spam out the field more easily. And if you combine this with this by paying counterblast two, by paying counterblast one and soul blast three or Hendrina, and then it's just counterblast one. And if you have a rogue headhunter, then it's just play these two for fucking free. You can basically look at top, depending on what order you did it in, kill unit, call two, then look at top four, call two, and the second two called, or whatever order that you did them in with agony, get plus five. So easy way to spam out four rear guards. Really nice, I gotta say. And you can also just use this to kill one of your Hendrinas or Rogue Headhunters to spam out the field. So technically, by calling two units from hand, or maybe one unit from hand and one to rear, you technically got a full board out of it. So I like this card. This is really good. Two copies. And that was the deck. If you're wondering why I don't run Blitz Orders is I just don't find them useful. Never has there been a scenario where I've needed to rely on a Blitz Order. Now, if they make a Zorga or anything with an Alka Magic that says you may choose a Blitz Order from your drop and Alka Magic with it, like as a defensive Alka Magic, then I will choose to do that. If I will choose to run Blitz Orders if that occurs. Until then, I refuse because I just don't like them. Ghost Chase is the most I'm considering, and I just don't like Ghost Chase. I resent Ghost Chase with a burning passion, so yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what decks you want to see, tell me what decks you want to see fight, and I'll try to make them happen. Join the Discord so you can chat with me personally and all my mates that may or may not join the Discord as well. Follow the Twitch or I will start streaming too when things go right for once, which probably will never happen, but it's at least worth trying. Uh, uh, subscribe to my second channel for Focused on Beyblade. And don't forget to go check out Thera. See you all in the next one. Don't forget to stand up your vanguards. <laughs>